As part of efforts to grow the agriculture sector in the province, the department has shifted its attention to young people who are showing an interest in farming. The 40 young people the department is supporting have studied abroad and now they need to take the national board exams before they can operate in the country. The department says it continues to invest in young people to develop future strategic economic role players. About 170 students got the opportunity to study overseas and 168 of them completed their studies. I got the privilege to go and study abroad. I studied research agronomy. I completed it. I'm a registered uh, agronomist right now. So I'm working at uh, FarmSol. Yes, so I'm a specialist uh, going in uh, responsible for free state. Libuso, who studied in Russia, is also a farmer by trade. I can say I'm one of those who made it under the leadership of Mr. Tate Mahwe, the late Mr. Tate Mahwe. The department says it is important to identify young people who will take the sector to new heights. The last batch really is those who went to study outside, who came back with some challenges in relation to the qualifications they acquired. Uh, and the ability to use them in the country. They need to take some couple of examinations so that they are certified, particularly the vets. So we are taking 40 of them to University of Pretoria uh, to undertake a bridging course so that they are ready when they take the certification course, uh, they will be able to go through uh, and uh, pass successfully. Various common ages across the province will also be serviced by a dedicated officer appointed by the department to help them breed market-ready livestock. We are also appointing 10 uh, young people who have studied in the agricultural space. We are appointing them as common age officers. They are going to work with various common ages that we find in every area in the free state uh, to empower and force what we call uh, uh, enhancement of the livestock that we find so that our people can breed livestock that is really ready for the market. In his budget vote, Mukwena also announced that the department had supported 34 youth projects amounting to 55 million rands in the 2022-2023 financial year. Kamakhelusiegui, SABC News, Bloemfontein.